Because Twitch does not like it when you show naked skin. Unless you're a woman and are in a hot tub. But that's a whole different story. Oh baby, I want loot. Doesn't matter, had sex. Shing! Can I get the loot? Yes! Like a hungry vulture. Give me all your stuff. And I'll be getting every single piece because there's a store just over here where I can sell all the junk. That's how you make a profit. By stealing from the poor and then selling it back to them. I should become a politician. Ooh, legendary loot, please. Or iconic. We don't make a tech precision rifle. Okay. Done the storyline with Judy and the cop dude? I don't think I have done that yet. Unless that's part of the main story. I don't think I have. Um, give me all your stuff. I'll be taking everything. Oh, relic is malfunctioning. Okay, I guess I'll try it out, because um, I haven't seen that one scary uh, cop lady that I've seen like at the very beginning of the game. Day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. What do you smell, pancakes? Well, pretty close. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I done it without you. Hey, come on. I don't know no, why, but maybe my nose is broken? So I've been smelling fried chicken everywhere I go lately. Good to know. And not like fresh fried chicken, but more like the, Nobody's the thing the that you keep in your freezer and then that just forget I about it. I haven't had KFC in so long. Beer, of course. I'll take beer. Beer me. Adam? Beer me. To happy uh, endings. Can I drink some more air? What now, boss? I have no idea. I'm serious. Not the faintest. Turns out Saul's all right. So, it's all wrong? I'll play it by ear. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you? Stay in camp. Join us. You know what? I would love to. You're getting your first KFC in Finland? What KFC doesn't exist in Finland? <laughs> Well, I, I know where I'll never be going. No, no offense, but. <laughs> v. Uh, it's not that simple. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. Just trying to survive, oh. babe. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, uh, forget about it. Hmm. 
in this game. Tugging on the old hot springs. Maybe once you move camp, we'll. I mean, the fast food options in Germany also aren't that great. Me? We've got McDonald's and Burger King pretty much everywhere. And then if you're lucky, you can find a KFC or Subway. Or Subway. Other than that, I... v, relax. leaves much to be Everything desired. Okay. How do you feel? <sighs> what happened? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. Not yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. Hours? What's wrong? Damn. Pan Am, I... It's getting worse every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening exactly? Mm. You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Oh, you live where the Finnish McDonald's started? That's cool. I don't even really? think there's a Talk German uh, Pan Am. fast food Silver restaurant. Hans construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. At it's least not, none that it, I'm aware it's of. Simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand. Listen, did you try? But well, I do enjoy you know, McDonald's quite a bit. Talking to someone about this. I tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Constructs more like a cancer, growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it, survive. Actually, it's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Hey, back from the Finally. dead. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. I mean, this if you need help. Kind of is like home now. Are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. So I guess that's the quest line of Panem done. Want me to walk with you? Absolutely. This is a pretty place. I know this area. Back from the old roots. I would love to hang out here. Safe here though. Sit now, at the campfire, yes. play some Military guitar, not venture this far. down a couple beers. And our point the boys. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Hmm. There she is. Maybe wanna Back go to for another round? Now that we are, uh... I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But 
I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Ooh, imagine if you could, could get married now in this game. Or something like next. that. You'll find a way. And that would once be awesome. you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family... Because I really like Panem. Saul was not joking. You understand? <sighs> give, me, give me a big old smooch. Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. <sighs> you know what? If I would have done this quest line before I got the bad ending, I think I would have cried even more. <laughs> uh. Oh well. Got a nice whip. And now we are going. Ah, oh, now the main quest is low danger. Um. Fuck it, let's do a high danger mission. Let's meet Kirk, that old fuck. First of all, let's get some more technical ability. And some more brawler feats. Mm, like this one. That's gotta be a fast travel point here, right? Yeah. Like a bunny. Okay, where does Kirk hang out? talked to Kirk since literally the beginning of the game so I'm interested to see what he wants to tell me uh, Kirk he's the guy at the very beginning who um You know, because uh, there was the the, the, uh, the barkeeper of the uh, the one Mexican bar who had a debt with him, so he had to steal uh, a car for him, and that's how you met Jackie. I believe that's how it went. Hey, over here at the uh, Coyote. Here, this ugly fucker. Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single. Hold on, thing. does the huh. does the, the story I'm change depending like on your background? Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. So if you're a nomad, do you like start uh, with the alicados? If so, start that's talking. quite a bit of replayability. Right, right. Listen, job simple. Got a van standing That's not cool, far okay. I don't know that. Rimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? I like how you're smoking Kirk, nothing. What's in the van? Very responsible. <laughs> Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Also, do you know Jackie from the Jesus, start then? Or like, do you just go to Night cares? City and uh, meet up with Jackie? It's ours. So? On good terms, because with the street kid background, uh, Jackie wants to kill you at first. <laughs> Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Later. Wait a minute, does it? Okay. 
That's interesting. Pedro, what do you want? Huh. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Chew, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. You really think you're fast enough for that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, right, come on, Pedro. Not worth it. Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo! Fucking punk! Well, what, try your luck? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I you smuggled a lizard? Okay, interesting. Fuck, what a night. Why? So I was just sent Why to uh, break into a garage and steal a car, but uh, Jackie also wanted to steal that car. So uh, then we got into a little bit of a fight and uh, then we became best buddies. Because you would have caught a beanie. Or worse. This fucking town, these people, just here minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... God, I miss Jackie so much. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Thank you. Circling in like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in. Me. But yeah, this is the starting location of the uh, street kid background. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Can't say no to that. Won't say no to a free drink. The good fortune and prosperity. Long day. Could say that again. I'm on a double. Good break. Working overtime to make an extra buck. Nah, just don't want to go home. Yeah, I thought the background only uh, gave you like different dialogue options, but if it's like an entirely different story from the beginning, that's really cool. Get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Absolutely. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Ren. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat up here, me. Or, I could get someone like you. And no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn fire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh,. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gun question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. I'm in. Okay, fine. I'm in. Gotta play marriage counselor. Means a lot to me. I mean, Pepe is a cool guy. And I mean, if, if your wife is kind of playing tricks on you, then uh, CD bars tend to remember things. Woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything is uncertain. You about done. I'm trying to focus. I think I even forgot to sell all my junk that I had. Oh well. There are... Ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop. I'll just sail over here. 
Or not. Where is Pepe's wife? At least on a smoke break, she's gotta be here somewhere. Pink jacket? Hey, that looks like her. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got All over from a safe distance. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. That's an interesting advert. Brosif. You love Johnny narrating? I just love Johnny in general. He went from complete asswipe to a real bro. Which is admirable. God, could you walk any slower? Also, it's a freaking miracle how you can walk on that sidewalk with those killer heels. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Narrate that. <laughs> the smirk. Gotta be stealthy. Like a tiger stalking its prey. Rawr. One thing I have to do before I finish this the game. Passes a bum. I gotta Give figure out if you can earth. kill children. <laughs> want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what, what did I ever do to you? Nice. I love the freaking ass, ass cheek. Not as chic as chin. Wriggles in your mouth. <laughs> Easy beef. Also like in, in vitro meat. Yo, look at big chungus over here. The white DJ Khaled. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Well, well, well. Hmm. In here? Knock, knock. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. I told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who was Wait. right. So she no. was getting cybernetics it's, it's in secret? Not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Oh, well, uh, of course. Yeah. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I, oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt: skin, hair, eyes, everything, except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why it makes sense. Looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I, I don't look anything like the old me. Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... 
Oh, you're... Oh. Uh, congratulations, I guess. Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Oh, well. Wasn't cheating, was just trying to look video. 